Hi, this is Sherry. I have um, another journal I'd like to share with you today. I just uh, completed it and the theme is trees. I already had um, this book cover that I purchased, I think from a library sale. It's very sturdy, very hard cardboard and it was so beautiful I didn't embellish the cover. The back cover is the same way. And then the spine is beautiful. And it's Darwin, The Origin of Species is, is the book that it was. It's a 1978 reprint by the Franklin Library. Maybe I shouldn't have taken it apart. Anyway, I did, so here's a journal on trees. Now, in this case, I was able to keep the end papers and after I did the hollow stitch, hidden stitch binding, this fabric paper started to split a little bit. So I've added this, and it's a little pocket, but it's to help keep everything together. I just thought this end paper was so beautiful. And uh, I did the same here. Now this was not splitting, it stayed nice and sturdy. It's a fabric. So I had this uh, several books on the topic of trees, and I used some of those pages from this withdrawn book from the library many years ago, The True Book of Trees. The table of contents, the copyright is 1954. I did a lot of the usual things. I tea dyed paper and did some stitching. This is a pocket. This is a pocket I made from a book page. And this is a page from The Origin of Species. This is another image I have from a, a book on mammals. I just think it's really cute. I have two of these books. And I think I used this image in another um, journal earlier this year or maybe last year. This is just a um, pretty leaf that I printed out on paper. It was an echo print, eco print, and set it to that page. This is from a book. Oh no, this is a digital. It's, it's um, public domain. Decorated pages, did some stenciling. This was from a book. This is a book page. And some of some of these digitals, I think the most of them are from um, Ephemera's Garden. And I used a few digitals from a few other places, but mostly I used pages from books that I've collected. I think it came out nicely. Woodpecker. They love trees. This is a fold out and this is um, just a little flip up with some writing papers on it. The true book and this talks about why they wrote the book. And these are also pages from the True Book of Trees. The color was really vivid. Of course, that's black and white. Here's a pocket with a little um, card in it. Here's a flip out, and again, more more writing paper. I hope I have everything in frame. Stitches, public domain image, and I did some little stitching here and there. As I've said before, I don't sew, but I do like to stitch. Some antique ledger paper, a little note paper. Just 
sewed this to the page for decoration. Another writing writing page stuck to, stuck in this pocket. There's another fold out, and this is another. Um, I have it clipped right now, but it's another area for writing with information on trees. This is a pocket with some note paper in it. Nice little um, paper snippet. I think I got this from Joanne. Owl, owls like trees. I like trees. And here's some note paper to write on. There's a skunk. Oh, you probably can't see that. Anyway, there's a skunk on the other side of this owl. There's a fold out. Birdhouse in a tree. And some more writing area and washi tape. Some more illustrations of trees and leaves and seeds. Pine cones, another pocket with some writing paper in there. Just decorative images. I printed some on vellum, lightweight vellum. I like the look of that. The flip out. Some decorative stitching and fabric, muslin, and then some writing papers. More information and descriptions of trees. Sequoia. I haven't seen one of those, I don't think. The world's temperate regions, anyway another drawing of a giant sequoia. Redwoods I have seen. Here's a little pocket made from some lace trim. Pocket. Put some writing paper in there. This is a pocket. I don't have anything in there at the moment. The color. I love it. And I like the eco diet. I haven't done any of that myself yet. But I might. More stitching. A little envelope here. Glassine envelope with a journaling card. More vellum. Another little paper snippet, decorative image. Here's a fold out page. Flowering trees and some writing papers. Again, these are images are from books that I've collected over the years. A little decoration on that page. Maple have many leaves. Yes, they do. And this is the last page. And the end paper. Well, I hope you enjoyed a look at this journal. It was a lot of fun to make. I've had this on my mind for a year or more that I've been collecting books about trees. And I finally made one. Thank you very much.